So I'm driving around here, minus three degrees in Canada today. Freaking cold. And all I hear on the radio is, oh my God, the carbon tax. Oh my God, the carbon tax. That's gonna be so damn good. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be absolutely great. Canada's gonna clean up the world. Yeah, you know the problem with the carbon tax? A carbon tax is gonna make prices skyrocket. And the big companies, which are the companies that it's designed to freaking stop and cut down their pollution, all they're gonna do is they're gonna buy themselves freaking carbon credits from the companies that aren't using it, and nothing's gonna fucking change. The only thing that's gonna change is how much the fuel costs to put in my freaking car. Which is ridiculous. Because that's gonna change. They're putting freaking four cents a litre surcharge. I mean, there's already four taxes on fuel as it is. Which is ridiculous. There's four freaking taxes on fuel, and now they're putting a surcharge. What is cool like this? There's gonna be a four, four cent tax, which in four years, they say is gonna be 11 cents a litre. I mean, last time I already paid a dollar fifty a litre, which is almost five dollars a fucking gallon. Which is ridiculous. I mean, I'm in a city with a freaking oil refinery. Where's a freaking oil refinery? And do you think they're gonna turn around and they're gonna go like, oh well, you know what? It's good for the environment. We're gonna like make a less pollution. No. I said they're just going to find someone that's not using all their carbon credits and they're going to freaking buy their carbon credits just like they did in Australia every country that's got a freaking carbon tax really has shown no drop in pollution because all they do is it basically becomes a market it's basically a pollution market it's like oh no I've run out of my carbon credits now it's going to cost me money a ton of carbon, you know what? Instead of paying the 50 bucks a ton, this guy up here, he's gonna sell me his credit for freaking 25 bucks a ton. You know what? He's gonna make 25 bucks. And I'm gonna make 25 bucks because I'm not paying that extra 25 bucks for that ton of carbon. That's how it works. So that idiot down in the States was trying to get it when they were trying to get the carbon freaking tax down there. A freaking uh da 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 what's his name? Uh dude that Oh Jesus. Get his freaking name now. He used to be the vice president. I think it was under Cigar and Chief freaking Bill Clinton. Um not Bob Dole. Not Bob Dole. Anyway, the idiot that made the movie An Inconvenient Truth. Because he owns a company down in the States that designed the program where companies can buy and sell freaking carbon credits. And that's the sort of thing that goes on with a carbon tax. The only people that get screwed are the ones that freaking are the people that have to buy the crap that all the prices go up on. Which is ridiculous. The companies don't change. Because for the most part, a lot of the companies, the amount of carbon that they're, set, that they're using and they're putting out is gonna stay the exact same. So you look at an oil refinery, I mean, they already have scrubbers and everything on there. So there's not really much more they can for can do. They're already basically connected right up. Scrubbers and filters and everything. Yet I wake up in the morning on the other side of town from the refinery and it still smells like shit in this city. I mean, on one side we've got a refinery, on the other side we've got a freaking palm paint mill. There ain't no wind in here. Ridiculous. And now the government's like, yeah, here's, your, here's another tax. I need more money, but you know what? I'm gonna give you more money than you pay. Bullshit! Last time I got an email from somebody saying, "Give me some money, I'll give you back more than you freaking pay me." What was I there? 
my Nigerian prince uncle died. And I need to pay his lawyer fees. Granted, they only wanted like $200,000. I could have got $100 million, But I unfortunately didn't have $200,000 on me at the time. Real shame. But that's the sort of thing. I mean, he's like, they're like, oh, it's going to cost around like $300 in your province for the carbon tax. But you know what? At the end of the tax year, we're going to give you almost 400 back. No! Rough estimate I seen on the news last night was after the, after the government does its rebate and everything, just out of Ontario alone, they make like $1.4 billion! And you're telling me that you're giving away more money than you freaking bring it in. I mean, what the hell is that? I was getting a little toasty in the car. And what the hell is that? And there's places where they're like, oh, well, in four years, you're going to be paying six... Oh, wait, what was it? You're going to be paying like $900, I think it is, in Saskatchewan. Up there. I mean, granted, it's always fucking freezing all the time up there. From what I heard. But it's going to be like, yeah, but we'll give you back like $1,400 after four years. That's what your rebate's gonna be. And then I'll look at where I am. And they're like, well, in four years, you're gonna be paying $700, but we'll give you $900. And it's like, but, 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 what is that? You're so busy screwing the economy, trying to make sure that you all get your damn money while screwing everyone else out of theirs. I don't even know right now. It's such stupidity, and all it is is vote buying from the freaking environmentalist freaking hippies. Oh my god, you gotta save the environment! Oh my god, oh my god! Like the climate is changing. Like oh my god, it's good, good. I live in Canada. I hope it does freaking warm up. Another month, and there's gonna be freaking snow everywhere. Snow. I mean, snow is useless. Wake up in the morning, and what do you see? What you see is freaking white. But anyway, thank you for listening to my rant. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a good one.